story honestly really confuses me sometimes because of how fast they go, but yes. Episode 9 of the dare. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah. How do people stay up in this class? I wonder the same thing. All I hear is blah, blah, blah. Wow. I'm Edward Block, and no, don't think of Edward from Twilight. You spoke too soon. I'm Elena Falls, and I feel like I heard your name from somewhere. I am an actor. I guess that's where I heard it from. Miss Falls, since you like to disturb my class, and especially while I'm teaching, answer this equation since you think you can... The answer is y equals negative 43x minus 3, and the net slope is negative. Did I miss anything, Mrs. O? No, you didn't. Good work. That's my bestie. Hit them with that knowledge, Lena. No one is that smart. Probably cheated or something. What? This is like, probably like Algebra 1 or something. Willow? This is easy shit. I do it like, I've done the same thing after Algebra 1 and like, Algebra 2, Calc 1, Calc 2, or Calc AB, Calc BC, but yeah. What are you doing here? I'm here because ever since the paparazzi inv invaded Harrison, all the rich kids and famous kids had to go to Oak West. Thanks a lot, bitch. Wanna go? She's like her, all right. I'd rather not be touched by you. I think you're lost, and where's your owner? Anyone lose their bitch? She ran out without a leash. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Falls and Miss Hayes. Please don't make me call the principal to escort you out of class and call your parents individually. Parents? As in mom and dad? But mostly mom. I'm so sorry, Mrs. O'Rice. Please continue with your beautiful lesson about occasions and other stuff. Love your sarcasm. Can't help it. It's my second language. One long, boring class later. Kitty? What? What is this? Hey, hey! Put me down! What do you want? Kit Cap Supremacy. They, they're cute too, but I don't know. They move so fast. Just, hmm. Graham carried me all the way into the janitor's closet. Ooh. He dropped me on the floor and I glared at him. Stop dropping me on my ass. I stood up and rubbed my butt before I looked back at Batman, who was slowly walking towards me. What's up with you? Why were you talking to Edward? Because I can. I said unsure as I backed into the wall. So possessive, and for what? What's so wrong with talking to him, exactly? Graham cuffed my chin and brought me closer to his face. Because you're mine, kitty. I blushed, but he couldn't see it because of the darkness. Wh what? I don't want you talking to any other guy. Y you can't clean me. I can. How so? I'm glad you asked. I felt something cold around my wrist, and I looked at it only to see that I was handcuffed to him. What the fuck is this, honestly? <laughs> I tugged my wrist, trying to pull off the handcuff, but it wasn't working. Like, excuse me? Damn, toy handcuffs. You follow me. As if. Be a good girl and I'll take them off. This is kind of sus. Not in the good way. He whispered softly in my ear as he tucked a strand of my hair, tucked it behind my ear. Is it just me, or have you been very perverted lately with smirking all? And all. He smirked. Maybe. He planted a small kiss on my ear before he walked out of the janitor's closet, pulling me with him. What just happened? 
I need to sit in my seat. I guess you can't. This handcuff thing is fucking ridiculous. You can sit on my lap. I don't mind. And I thought you weren't perverted the first time I met you. Shame on me. But she likes it. This is awkward. Not my problem. You're a discrediting, inconsiderate asshole. Why, thank you. He put his hand on my thigh and I slapped his hand away. Pervert. You still have a girlfriend. And I'm not going to be no side chick. Whatever. Alright. Listen up, punks. My name is Dr. Dirk. You know about those hotline blinks, don't you? <laughs> so immature. No, that was actually funny. Indeed, Miss Green. Mr. Stanley, please step up here. Now, today, punks, you need to learn about... Mr. Drake grabbed Aiden's arm and twisted it behind Aiden's back. Aiden clenched his jaw as he grunted in pain. Counterattacks. Mr. Drake let go of Aiden and he collapsed to the floor. Mr. Drake? Why are we learning about that when we can easily throat chop him? Them. Or bibbity bobbity them like my mom does. I can't believe you brought that up. I guess you need a demonstration, Miss Falls. Mr. Salgado, do you mind? Sure, I guess. She screwed. Mr. Drake moved back to the sidelines as Graham and I stood on the opposite sides of, mat of the mat. Graham got into a ready stance. Wait, we're about to fight or something? Could you be any more oblivious to the situation? Also, why'd they skip over the part where they were, like, handcuffed together? I don't want to see more, like, did anyone else see them? Like, what was the point of that? That was so short. Why? Shut up. I ran towards him, pulling back my fist to punch him. I heat ducked and swept his leg under mine. I fell back only for him to catch me and blush from how close he was. Miss Falls. Fighting is not about punching and throwing punches. I don't know how commoners fight, but it's different. I I was just getting warmed up. Let me try it again. I stood up and dusted myself off before I went back over to the opposite side of the mat. I got into a ready stance as Graham did the same. I'm going to get you this time. And I know the perfect way to do it. I smirked before I sucked air in between my teeth and held my arm. Ow, my arm. It hurts. Graham hesitantly got out of his ready stance and walked over to me. Let me see. He took my hand and I smirked before I twisted his arm behind my, his back. Oh, yeah. Acting at its finest. As if. I can do better. Don't be mad because she's getting closer to Graham than you. Oh, shit. I let go of Graham's arm and turned around before I bowed. Thank you. Thank. Graham swept his leg under mine again, and this time I fell on the floor. Ow. Oh. Never turn your back on your enemy, kitty. He whispered in my ear before he walked away from me, but I got up and tackled him onto the ground. Take your own advice. Graham flipped over on top of me and pinned my arms above my head. I will. He pressed his lips against mine, and my eyes widened in astonishment. Excuse me? Right in front of their salads? Damn. Go on, Batman. Kiss the girl. Graham pulled away before he winked at me and got from off of me. Whoa. He just kissed me in front of Allison. Wow. I should get up now. Interesting. Those two. Anyway, you all should know about tomorrow. Oh, yeah. I'm pumped. I don't like to get dirty, but I only make an exception for this. 
I can't wait to get payback. What's happening tomorrow? Everyone looked at me as they gasped in disbelief. What? You don't know? Obviously not. Every other week, we get into the forest and play paintball war. It's traditional to Oak West. And it's a mix with Capture the Flag too. The losing team will be scrubbing the toilets with toothbrushes. The winning team gets to go to a beach house. Graham and I are going to be that group. Right, Graham? I have something to tell you, Allison. Better can wait. Oh, okay, babe. Whatever you say. Your teams will be announced during lunch. Along with your colors. So I expect you to be ready or you'll be scrubbing toilets with toothbrushes. At lunch. Okay. Babe, I got this new Ch Chanel purse. It's so adorbs. Allison, we have to talk. Oh, okay. What is it? Allison, I want to break up. What? Wh what? No, you can't. Please have some self-respect, girl. At least that. It's because of Elena, isn't it? Allison, don't cry. Fine. I don't care. Allison. Really, Elena? Don't judge me, Edward. Want a bite? Sure. Psych! Get your own strawberry and Nutella cupcakes. That's just cruel, Elena. Don't be mad. <coughs> Text from unknown. I finally found you, Elena Falls. And I'll make you mine. I, I intentionally screamed and dropped my phone, making everyone's eyes revert on me. <laughs> so sorry about that. Intentionally and or unintentionally, what was that about? It was nothing. My mind was racing with thoughts, and my heart was beating faster and faster as I thought about that text. What did that text mean? I finally found you, Elena Falls, and I'll make you mine? That sounds like something Graham would say, but it's not him. It's probably like Edward or something, but I have his number in my phone. Elena, you look pale. I'm fine. I just... I j just... Elena! To be continued. Hello! Don't you smile at me and say hello! I don't want a cliffhanger! Brenda, Connor, continue the damn episode! They're really short. Sorry, but you know me. I'm evil at giving you guys mind racing cliffhangers. Mwahahahaha. You torture them too much. They probably don't even have passes to go into the next episode. Some of them do, but not all of them. I'm so evil. Follow me on Instagram at xgirlllovesmillionsx. And we'll see you all in the next episode. Love you, Kit Cappers. Stay awesome. To be continued.